May 2021 marks the 200th anniversary of the death in exile in St Helena of Napoleon Bonaparte. Now, Napoleon, what was he? Hero or villain? He was certainly one or the other, and depending on who you are and where you come from, you might have a point of view about that, but I want you to wait and see, and listen to a song that I'm going to sing you. Now, this song dates from the period shortly after his death, and it was written by somebody nobody knows and nobody's ever heard of, who wrote quite a lot of songs at that time, and so did his mates. And what they did, they would wait until some event took place that was of great interest to the people of the country, and they would write a song about it. They would then get this published. They would print it out on a simple sheet that was called a broadsheet, and these were broadside ballads. They would sell them in the street for a penny a pop. Here you go, mate. Have a, have a broadside ballad. What about you? Another one for you? Yeah, take them to the pub. Sit down together. Think up a tune and sing them. And that's what they did. And that was, uh, yeah, yet another early manifestation of folk music. So, usually sung unaccompanied. This is a broadside ballad about Napoleon. Probably written about 1830, but we don't know really. Anyway, I love it. It's a grand song. Here it goes. It was over that wild beaten track, Twas said a friend of Bonaparte Did tread the sands and lofty rocks Of St Helena's shore. And the wind it blew a hurricane, The lightning fierce around did dart, The seagulls were a shrieking, And the waves around did roar. The harsh shrewd winds the stranger cried, While I ranged the spot, Where last the gallant hero Did his weary eyelids close. And though at peace his limbs do rest, his name shall never be forgot. This grand conversation on Napoleon arose. Oh, alas, he cried, why, England, did you persecute the hero bold? Much better had you slain him on the plains of Waterloo. For Napoleon, he was a friend to heroes all, both young and old. He caused the money for to fly wherever they did go. When plans were forming night and day, the bold commander to betray, he said, I'll go to Moscow, and there I'll ease my woes. And if fortune smile on me that day, then all the world shall me obey. This grand conversation on Napoleon arose. Oh, his men in thousands did arise to conquer Moscow by surprise. They crossed the Alps among themselves, oppressed by frost and snow. Ah, but when he viewed the Russian land, he then began to open his eyes, for Moscow lay a-blazing, and the men drove to and fro. Napoleon dauntless viewed the plain, and then, in anguish at the same, he cried, Retreat me, gallant men, for time so swiftly goes. Ah, but thousands died in that retreat, some forced their horses for to eat. This grand conversation on Napoleon arose. Oh, at Waterloo they bravely fought, commanded by this Bonaparte. Field Marshal Ney did him betray, for he was bribed by gold. And when Blucher led the Prussians, it nearly broke Napoleon's heart. He cried, me thirty thousand men are lost, and I am sold. He viewed the plain and cried, all's lost, and then his favourite charger crossed. The plain was in confusion, with blood and dying woes. And the bunch of roses did advance, and boldly entered into France. This grand conversation on Napoleon arose. Oh, this Bonaparte was planned to be a prisoner across the sea. The rocks of St Helena, well it was his final spot. And there he lived his time out till death did end his misery. His son soon followed to the tomb. It was an awful blot. And long enough have they been dead the blast of war around us spread, and may our shipping float again to face the daring foe. And so, my lads, when honour calls, we'll boldly mount those wooden walls. This grand conversation on Napoleon arose.